Well, good morning and welcome to Integrative Preparedness. How are you all today? I hope you're well. We have a dangerous year coming up on us here and that's what I want to talk about. Um, grab a cup of whatever you drink. Hopefully it's out of a Stonemont mug or a Integrative Preparedness mug or maybe even a <clears throat> Rebellion to Tyrants mug from American Reversion. Whatever you have. Let's get to thinking about the day. It's early. <clears throat> Sun's not up yet. Uh, just got a message that there's no school today because of the road conditions, so I'm letting everybody sleep in, but I always get up early. Before we get started on the dangerous year, just want to let you know a major announcement. And I, I, I let everybody know yesterday. The entire Stonemont series is now up on Audible. I know people have been asking for that for a long time. So you can now get it on Audible. Now, many of you know that I've been reading it myself over on the uh, the Patreon channel. And I just put up, uh, I think, uh, Chapter 15 of the Revival, which is the second book in the series. And uh, <clears throat> probably put up Chapter 16 today or tomorrow, but that's me reading it. But they, uh, but Amazon just just came out uh, through their Kindle program, and so now, in addition to the books, all the books being available through Amazon, uh, in both paperback and Kindle, is now available on Audible, and uh, all of the books are available on Audible, and uh, it's it's the AI voice, but they do a pretty darn good job, to be honest. I listened to it before I gave the okay, and they do a good job. I'm sorry, I'm covering up, and I know it's dark in here. I don't want to turn on the lights uh, too much, and wake everybody up. Uh, but you know it's it's they uh, they don't have the inflection that I do but in some ways I think they do it better so now you can get the audible on two ways however you'd like it either through audible or uh, through the, the uh, Amazon you can order it there and or through with me reading it over on the patreon channel so that's cool I, I'm I'm kind of looking forward to to listening to the whole series myself again you know as I as I write the seventh book uh, I, I, I have to go back often. I, I take notes so that I, I remember exactly what's going on in, in different places and who's doing what and where we left who off and things like that. It, it's, a, it's an interesting process. Anyway, let's get back to this. It, it, it's, a, it's a dangerous world as we know. <clears throat> we have a very dangerous world ahead of us. Um, the Iowa primaries are just in a few days and that's going to break everything loose that's when things get serious domestically here trump's going to beat everybody's butt there's no doubt about that and that's going to to really bring it home to the other side the danger that trump presents them and they, they already know it but it's just going to just going to kind of amplify it <clears throat> and then things get serious <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> we now have well, yesterday, I'll start it off like this. Yesterday, I made a video for the American Reversion Channel, which if you're not over there and you're interested in the political situation, the link's down below. We'd love to have you over there. Uh, we have a, a growing um, membership over there, and one of our people here <clears throat> on Integrative Preparedness has been with us for quite a while. Says, uh, said it's become his favorite channel, so I'm glad to hear that. But anyway, over there yesterday, <coughs> excuse me, I led off with the uh, <clears throat> James Madison quote. And James Madison said that if tyranny and oppression ever came to this land, it would be in the guise of fighting a foreign enemy. Well, we're fighting a foreign enemy right now. We are, are now in direct exchange with with Russia uh, we are now pounding the hooties over there and uh, you know oh yeah we bring in you know our coalition partners but it's us doing it we're pounding them and and they have threatened of course uh, you know how they 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 love this hyperbolic language uh, what did they call it? Indescribable revenge or and it was some something like that they, they have promised revenge well <clears throat> a lot of times these people over there the way they talk they sound silly and uh, and certainly they're no match for us militarily 
uh, either, either in quality or quantity, but uh, they can definitely have their effects, you know, shall we remember 9-11? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I, I understand, and we're kind of getting to that in a second. Uh, but, they're, but, but they can have an effect, and we've allowed so many of them into our country that we've assured, you know, just like the previous mentioned incident, um, <clears throat> I have to be careful. They're, they're slamming my channel. Well, I just had somebody said they had been unsubscribed from this channel eight to ten times. So can I ask you, if you would you check to make sure that you're subscribed? Hey, and give me a thumbs up and leave a comment and share this video. Um, but they they have have threatened now indescribable revenge and horror and everything like that on America. Well, Hezbollah. Which is much <clears throat> more of a danger, <clears throat> a worldwide danger, than Hamas ever was. Uh, <clears throat> has has indicated that they are are capable of, of uh, bringing it home to us here. And now we have had members of our own administration warning us, part of our military industrial complex, warning us that the, there is a possibility of. Hezbollah attacks within our country. This should be taken seriously. Whether it's Hezbollah <coughs> actually able to bring it to us, or whether something happens and we're told it was Hezbollah, uh, doesn't matter. It will have the same effect on us as citizens of the, <laughs> I said, yeah, it, it will have more of an effect on us as citizens because those who aren't citizens, those who are here illegally, uh, <coughs> you know, uh, oh, did, did you, <laughs> no, I'll get into that over on American Reversion. Boy, the things that are going on with the illegal aliens. <clears throat> but it will have an effect on, on the citizens here because it will be the next opportunity they have to clamp down on our, our constitutional rights. Now, the way to fight this right now is, of course, politically, but a lot of people on this channel don't want to hear that. That's what we talk about over on on the American Reversion channel. <clears throat> there will be some here who will say, well, we have to rise up and do it, and you'll notice that they aren't doing it. You know, so uh, big talk and blowhards serve no purpose. What does serve a purpose is, is reasonable and directed action. Not reaction, but preemptive action, and most of that well, that, that's political if, it, if it's external, but internally it has to be us upping our preparedness stance. <clears throat> you remember how things changed after 9-11 with the Patriot Act and all that, right? And, and of course, they, they sold that. Oh, boy, they sold that well, and they were able to sell it well because of the gullibility and the naivety of the American people. And they wrapped it all in patriotism. And, uh, and, and and took us another step towards a police state. But, <clears throat> but that's all right because it was wrapped with a big patriotic bow, right? I have to keep stepping. It's early. It's my first cup. The answer, of course, to all of this, <clears throat> and there's no secret to this. Let me clear my throat. I'll be right back. So the answer, of course, is self-sufficiency, self-reliance, not relying on the government. <clears throat> so whatever new constraints or new surveillance they, they put us under, uh, we're able to continue to live our lives well uh, according to our own, you know, our own decisions for the most part. While we see how it plays out. You know, I've been in the in the past I've talked about 
<clears throat> groups who were able to live well under oppression. And, and a lot of people, well, I, no, not a lot of people, but, but some people, oh, they pounded their little fists and stomped their little feet and told me that they weren't going to live under oppression. And they had no, no, you know, we're Americans and we have no, you know, no intent of living under oppression. We're going to rise up and fight this war on our doorstep, bull. <laughs> God, man. The fantasies some people live in. No. <clears throat> there is no jumping to that step at this point. There is no standing up in rebellion to tyrants at this point. I'm not saying it's never going to happen, but I'm saying it's not at this point, not, not going to happen. So any, any energy spent thinking about that, talking about it, is wasted energy. It's, 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 it's nothing. You know, it's pissing in the wind. The resistance, any rebellion or resistance, of course, is going to be individually, it's going to be politically, but more importantly than that, it's going to be separating yourself from the powers that want to oppress you. And that comes simply to what we talk about so often. <clears throat> Be able to live independently of the external systems over which you have little or no control. Right? Power, food, defense, water, shelter, medical, all of those things. By the way, I was going to do a, a book, uh, somebody asked me, and I'm going to do a, one coming up on uh, some books that I recommend, because somebody asked me about them, <clears throat> and, and one that I do recommend, I, I just ordered a new one, uh, because I was going to show my old one, I can't find it, maybe I lent it to somebody, I don't know, and that is, Where There Are No Doctors, you yeah. uh, know, that's a good book. So if, if you want to know a little bit about, you know, how to treat certain things, kind of a triage book of, you know, this is what's going on, this is what's going on, you can get it on. It was written for, uh, it was written for people over helping, you know, Peace Corps, missionaries, things like that, going to people in the third world where there is no doctor. It's a good book. You can find it on Amazon. I, I forget what. Uh, I just ordered it last week. It just came in. I'll show it to you in, in another video. Uh, but you can find it on it's 20 bucks, something like that. It's a good book to have. It's a way of, of having, you know, because as we, <clears throat> as we're entering the new season, you got that cough season, right? This is just a morning cough. This is, <clears throat> but, but we got this new big scary things coming, right? And, and they may put more restrictions or try to put more restrictions on everybody when it comes to healthcare access and things like that. So be ready for that. But the danger of this coming world is not necessarily, in my opinion, uh, attacks from outside, but just exactly what Madison warned us about. If tyranny and, and oppression ever come to this land, it will be in the guise of fighting a foreign enemy. Don't you worry, citizens. We're gonna we're gonna slap you down some more and take away some more of your rights and take away your, you know, free travel and free association and try to take your guns and all of this. But it's for your own good. You'll thank us later. We're gonna destroy your your food sources, but that's just because it's best for you. <laughs> Folks, this is probably going to be one of the most interesting years we've had in a while. And, and there are dangers in it. Dangers to us physically, dangers to us economically. Hopefully not dangers to us spiritually. If you're, if you're lined up spiritually, which you ought to be, and that's, that's, that's your first priority. Uh, the, these things should give you opportunities to strengthen that. But they should give you opportunities to strengthen your other situations, too. Lee, uh, <clears throat> over at Cold War Prepper, left a uh, 
message on yesterday's, I think it was, about uh, dealing with the, the, the chaos that's coming. Uh, I don't remember if he asked, are you going to do one with chaos? Or uh, I think he said more a line like, what I see coming, and really the problem is is when so many things happen at one time. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to make another one on, on that, dealing with chaos. You have to be able to. You know, you, you can't be, you know, the, the, the one-trick ponies uh, don't last. The ones who are all all prepared in one area <clears throat> at the expense of others <clears throat> are going to have a rough time. So that's why you want your, your preparedness stance to be omnidimensional. You want to be able to take care of it all. And there will be some who say, well, you can't do that, Steve. And Steve will respond, yes, you can plenty of people do it. If you have the attitude that it can't be done, then you won't do it. You won't even try. <coughs> I'm sorry for the clearing the throat. <coughs> but that usually is just on the part of many. It's just their preemptive excuse of why they're not going to try. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying that nobody can do it, therefore I don't have to put in the work to do it. Well, for those of you who, who others who don't feel like that, it can be done. It's just a matter of step by step. You have to do it and do it and do it and do it and do it. You know, my, my first rule of, of preparedness is do something every day. I don't care if it's big, I don't care if it's little. <laughs> I, I'm going to show one over on uh, uh, the Patreon channel. <laughs> I ate my steaks yesterday with a K-Bar tactical spork. Yeah, <laughs> if you if you want to see that, come watch it on on Patreon. Uh, that was from yesterday. I shot it yesterday. I'll put it up today. Anyway, this is going to be an interesting year. <coughs> Get ready for it, and be ready for it, and stay ready for it. Don't let your guard down. Things are going to be coming at you right and left faster than you can imagine and you just have to remain the calm in the storm you, you can't you can't be re reacting to all the craziness that comes your way <clears throat> you have to and the way to do that is to settle yourself get yourself peaceful and regardless of what lousy things may may seem like they're headed our way if you are prepared you're going to be able to deal with them and just let that storm just spin around you you stay in the eye don't react keep a clear head make good decisions See where you're a little bit light. If you can tighten up someplace, do it. And I think you're going to have a lot of opportunities to, to be tested in those areas. You know, if you say, well, I don't know where, where I'm a little bit weak. Well, there's probably something coming down the road that's going to point it out. So be ready to, uh, to, to not react, but to respond to that and tighten up those areas. All right. Think about that. Think about that today. Get ready for a crazy and very possibly a dangerous year. Remember again, the Stonemont series, my books, are available through uh, Amazon, now in Audible, paperback, Kindle, or Audible. Or you can get the paperbacks directly from me uh, through our website, stonemont.us. If you want to know the complete plan, this is the complete plan, I tell people. It's a complete plan to preparing for, surviving, and rebuilding, and living well after a collapse of everything. And or you can come listen to me do, or you can you can order them from me directly on the Stonemont website, Stonemont.us. You can also order all the mugs and T-shirts and everything over there. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff over there in the Stonemont store. And be a Stonemonter, and. Uh, and you can order them. If you get them from me, I get to sign them for you, and I like that. I like that. You know, we're, we're all kind of in this together. We're in it individually, but we're kind of in it together. And I, I like that because I love my relationship with my readers, just like my, I love my relationship with my viewers here. It's, uh, it, 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 it's, a, it's a good part of my life. 
and I, I enjoy it and I get a lot out of it and I hope you do too but if you get them from me I get to sign them I don't get them to you as fast as Amazon does but that's the way the world is I run out and wait for a new shipment and then I sign them and get them out to you uh, or you can listen to me read the audible over on the Stonemont level of the Patreon site probably put up another one today so keep these things in mind you guys uh, it gets more and more interesting more and more challenging and you have to be up to the challenge okay so that's up to you so as we say we prepare well today in order to live well tomorrow if you want to live well tomorrow and you can prepare well today don't waste this day put this day that God gave you to good use and I'll talk to you tomorrow bye bye